This video provides instructions for how to mass culture rotifers in the genus Brachionis. Rotifers have been a key live food in aquaculture for the past 60 years. Rotifers are small, fast growing, and natural prey for many larval predators. By manipulating their diet, rotifers can be made nutritious for larval fish. Rotifers are ideal for mass cultures because they have a broad diet and are tolerant of high density culture. The mouth size of fish larvae determines the size prey they can ingest. Most rotifers are an ideal size for most fish larvae, and they're easily captured because they're slow swimmers. Brachionis rotifers come in a variety of sizes, from a large Brachionis plicatilis, about 300 micrometers, to a small Brachionis rotundiformis, about 140 micrometers. Rotifers are nutritious because their composition is determined by the food that they eat. Like the green alga, Tetraselmus susica, or the red-colored alga, Hematococcus pluvialis. A key advantage of rotifers in aquaculture is that they produce dormant cysts. Cysts can remain dormant for decades when they're maintained dry and at low temperature. Each cyst hatches into a female who begins rapid asexual reproduction. Rotifer cysts are ideal for inoculating mass cultures. They are contaminant free, they're genetically uniform, and they allow you to manage rotifer body size and to optimize rotifer growth for your hatchery. A simple and reliable way to mass culture rotifers is to grow them in plastic bags. This example is for lab scale 5 to 12 liter plastic bags. We use a PVC frame with an air manifold that holds 10 12 liter plastic bags. Plastic bags are slipped through the pipe on the frame and then folded back against the PVC. Bags are then secured with four rubber bands to make sure the bags don't slip from the frame. A funnel is used to fill the bags with 10 liters of seawater, taking care to straighten out the bag as the water enters. A sterile glass aeration tube is placed in the bag gently, attached to an airline, and the aeration initiated. Nutrients are added to the bag and it is inoculated with algae like Tetraselmus and it is grown for three or four days. Once the bags turn green they are inoculated with rotifers using quick start rotifer cysts. Rotifer cysts hatch within 24 hours and the hatchlings begin rapid asexual reproduction. Within two or three days, the rotifers will clear all the algae and will need supplemental feeding. We use Amplifeed Replete, which is the best dry rotifer food on the market. In commercial hatcheries like at Sustainable Aquatics, rotifers and algae are grown in 125 liter bags. Similar procedures are followed as at lab scale, just upscaled 10 times. Growing rotifers in multiple 125 liter bags provides reliability and redundancy to rotifer mass cultures. It is good practice to check the health of the rotifer mass cultures daily. Indicators of healthy rotifer mass cultures include rapid population growth, high population density, fast swimming rotifers, abundant females with multiple eggs, and no foot flipping. A high proportion of females carrying multiple asexual eggs indicates a healthy growing population. Rotifer swimming speed is another indicator of mass culture health. Fast swimming rotifers indicate healthy populations. Slow swimming rotifers indicate rotifers that are subject to stress. A third indicator of mass culture health is foot flipping behavior. 
A high proportion of foot flipping rotifers signifies that rotifers are experiencing some kind of stress.